I will be talking about Pam Houston's story, The Best Girlfriend You Never Had, which was found from other voices. Um, it is in my book, The Best American Short Stories of the Century, edited by John Updike and Katrina Kennison. It can be found on page 769 in the expanded edition. So, Pam Houston starts off this story with our main character, Lucy. She is a photographer. It's her career, and she loves it. Um, she just moved to the city, and Lucy introduces us to one of the main characters, Leo, who is her best friend. It's completely platonic, but she wants, she is kind of in love with him, and he, Leo, is in love with a weaver, a Buddhist, I think she's Buddhist, a Buddhist weaver called, um, Genevieve, and, um, Genevieve can never seem to remember that she's ever met him before, and so it's kind of this, like, sort of love triangle, and Lucy also talks about her ex-boyfriend, Gordon, um, and with Gordon, they had a bunch of fights all the time, and she was just constantly chasing after him when they would fight, and she was the one who was always apologizing, and it was always just that kind of a relationship. She was just chasing him, and he was just giving nothing in return. There was no intimacy in that relationship whatsoever, and um, Lucy just really is craving that. She's craving intimacy in all her relationships. She's not getting it with Leo because he's just her best friend. She's not getting it with Gordon even though she dated him. And she's not getting it with her parents because they just, they seem more interested in fighting with each other than in really cherishing their time with their daughter. Um, one of my favorite parts in the story is when she gives this little, Lucy gives this little short story. Um, it starts on 778, and she goes, Last night, I say, I was walking alone down Telegraph Avenue. I was in a mood, you know. Gordon and I had had a fight about John Lennon. Was he for or against, Leo says. Against, I say, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I was scowling, maybe crying a little, moving along pretty fast. They step over this homeless guy with his crutches and his little can, and he says, I don't even want any money from you. I just like you to smile. So, did you? Leo says. I did, I say. I not only smiled, but I laughed too. And then I went back and gave him all the money in my wallet, which was only $18. But still, I told him to be sure and use that line again. I love you, Leo says, and takes both of my hands in his. I mean, in the good way. I just really like this story because... It's like she's talking about um, her and Gordon fighting and then Leo ends the conversation with saying that he loves her but in the good way. And I just have always wondered what he meant by in the good way. Does he mean like in the good way by platonic way like because they're friends or does he mean in a good way because it's real because it's not fake like all her other relationships where you know you say you love them but you don't really mean it and the relationship doesn't really last. That's the one I kind of think that he's leaning towards, maybe a little bit of both. Um, and another part I really, really loved is on 772. I got drunk on the city at first, the way some people do on vodka, the way it lays itself out as if in a nest of mandronas and eucalyptus, the way it sparkles brighter even than the sparkling water that surrounds it. The way the Golden Gate reaches out of it like fingers toward the wild, wide ocean that lies beyond. I love the smell of fresh blueberry muffins at the Oakland Grill down on 3rd and Franklin. The train whistle sounding right outside the front door and tattooed men of all colors unloading crates of cauliflower, broccoli, and peas. I just loved the wording of this a lot. I loved the way she just described it and the way she just seemed to be soaking up the city and she just really admired everything around her even if it was like the little details of the smell of the fresh blueberry muffins and the tattooed men unloading crates of vegetables i have i just love everything in the story from 
the way Pam Houston describes Lucy and the, their her relationships and just like the intricacies of the details and all of it. This is one of my favorite stories and I would definitely recommend reading it if you get a chance to buy this book.